All right. Back with my buddy, Mike Jaco, former Navy SEAL. Uh, it's going to look in buff there, dude. You've been in the weights or what? You get the weights before you come on the show? <laughs> yeah. You know, I just, I was running around doing stuff and I just down a protein shake. So, you know, there you go. got to make sure I don't shrink. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go with the gym right now. I did squats the other day, man. I'm, oh. Oh, Every yeah. time I do that, I have to kiss cardio goodbye for like a week. Like my legs just kill me, dude. Oh, me. oh yeah. Um, it's a good feeling though. You know, I, I like, I, I like it's a little a good pain. feeling, but dude, I notice like whenever no I do pain, squats, no I get, yeah. I get tired, man. Like for like four or five days, I just want to sleep all the time. <laughs> I don't understand it. I guess it's for muscle growth or whatever, but, but, uh, man, dude. So yeah, I've had some good guests on my show. You've had some really good guests on your show. Absolutely. Um, man, let's just trade some info here. Like, what do you got? Mm. What do you see happening? I think, I'm hearing from people now that this is all speculation mm-hmm. and I want to know if you're hearing the same thing that they're done with the audits on the 26th and that we may see movement from military after that. Oh yeah. Um, I've heard from a few people that could be the case. Now this is speculation uh, that Trump might make a move sooner than we think. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be the smartest move for him to be quite honest with you. I think the yeah. longer he waits, the worse it is at this point. Yeah. Uh, because we just saw, I don't know if you saw the, uh, in Florida where they had that building collapse. Uh, that's, I, I, it's got, all, it, it's a directed energy weapon. So wow. that's, yeah. So that, um, it's, it's the same signature that I saw on nine 11. I've seen it in other things. Um, it, uh, it's, it's definitely an attack. So why were they doing it in Florida? Because everybody's going to Florida from these deep States. And why would they do it in that area? Because there's a lot of Jewish people there. So these guys don't like them. And uh, it's, you know, we, we're not going to go too deep on that, but um, there's, there's problems. There's problems in, you know, still out there. So you and I have talked about how, you know, these guys are going to get desperate and they're going to do some serious stuff. And they probably pulled back a little bit so they, so they could like, you know, you know, get, get, get control of the situation. So it didn't escalate, you know, re recoordinate, restructure everything. Right. So we know that, you know, they didn't want to, they didn't want to kick off a, you know, civil war. Uh, so I think that was wise that they, they pulled back a little bit so more people can get uh, you know, on board with it. But like you said, there's, there comes a time where a point where you got to move, you got to, you got to, you got to. Yeah. I uh, said, I said that on my show out. the other day, Mike, I was like, I even said, I was like Trump. I'm like, People get complacent. You know, you have the Patriots behind you, this and that, but people mm-hmm. go back to sleep, man. And it's like, also, you're letting them restructure, reorganize. I don't know. I think you just kind of, at some point, you just got to say, yeah. I We're seeing I mean, how quick win. I mean, everyone's seeing how quick it can change because, you know, Trump had like, you know, in his, you know, four, four short years, you know, a lot can happen, as we know, even though they're like constantly badgering him, trying to get him impeached and everything. Uh, in those four years, he basically switched everything incredibly the other way because they had worked for decades. You know, I, I think the last good president we had was Reagan. Yeah. And, uh, and and in between there, you have all these knuckleheads. Well, that's also when Bush Sr. kind of got kind of oh, yeah. got involved. He went, yeah. you know, well, they even tried to take out Reagan, you know, assassination attempt on Reagan. Yeah, exactly. And then after that, that's when I think Sr. took the reins. You know, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Like what we're seeing now, like what I'm, what I'm hearing, do you, think, do you think this could happen? Do you think before July fourth? I think I think a move's going to be made fairly soon. Now I've said hot summer, nuclear winter, but yeah. but would it surprise you if it happened sooner, Mike? Uh, it would surprise me. I, I think they're they're kind of, uh, and it could be a Fourth of July celebration if that that's, did. Happen. That's what I'm thinking. You know, that's what I'm thinking. That, you know, I think you're I think you're hitting on something. Uh, but, you know, we, we've seen these states come and go over and over again. And we're like, what the heck is going on? But when we look at it from the from, you know, uh, the rear view mirror, it's like, wow, <laughs> we, we avoided some some shit. So yeah. uh, I, I think that's what we've done. But it really feels to me and everyone that I talk to, the psychic and everything else, that everything's coming to a head. It's so close. Uh, it's it's about to pop and it has to like, pop. Like- like one Oh seven says, you know, the yeah. longer you play chess, the less, the less chess moves are available. And right. it's like, now that's like, they're limited. And it's like, now I think they're going to see, we're going to see desperate attempts. You know, I think they're going to false flags. 
I think anything to throw the, the smell, the scent off. I think a lot more suicide. Look at this. McAfee suicide, suicided. I don't know if the White Hats have him or. Yeah, they, they got it. Did you see that right after that, they uh, it posted like that 17th letter alphabet comes in from his, yeah, yeah from his yeah, uh, account. That. So either right. somebody, you know, put it out there or, you know, after he, after he's gone, I, I don't get that he's gone. I, I'm looking I at don't it. Feel that either. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see him gone. Uh, so it's, it's another, another one of the face. And a lot of, uh, you know, he was about uh, um, security on the, on the right. internet. And in right. your, so they don't want that. <laughs> so they're exactly. trying to take all of that down. 100%. And I see also like with these audits that are, I think this is like my, um, uh, General Flynn came out and said it's going to be explosive after these, after the audits come out. He said explosive. And for him yeah. to come out and say that, yeah. Uh, that and then Dan Scavino's post. Did you see Dan Scavino's post where he said, uh, dang, I, I, I have it written, maybe I have it written here. I, it said, uh, I have it written right here. The Dan Scavino's post. Check this out, bro. Dan Scavino's, I talked about it this morning. Dan Scavino sends another smoke signal, signal on Telegram. And we know Scavino's right next to Trump all the time. Yeah. Saying all, and there's a picture of Trump. And it said, all signs point to Trump returning to the White House in legendary fashion. Who's ready wow. to witness a nuclear level meltdown from the establishment? The likes in which we've never seen. That's fucking his wow. post, dude. Yeah, on <laughs> Telegram. I, I saw that. I'm like, I'm taking that fucker. And I'm going to run with that. That's, yeah, that's Oh, big. yeah. Definitely. That's big. That's good. And then Trump saying he didn't, you know what? You know? Yeah. Saying that he didn't, you know, I'm going to try to put this on YouTube. That's why. I, yeah, good. Very good. Very good. So it's kind of hey. like, you know, there's so many, I mean, signs. I mean. Yeah, it's big, man. And, you know, I've, I've always said I think it's going to be around August, October, November when we start seeing it. But, dude, I, I don't think now I'm starting to think could be sooner. Could be. Could be. Yeah, because a lot of us are feeling it. Uh, there's uh, there's lots of signs. He's coming out big in a lot of different areas. Uh, there's there's a big uh, um, he's doing a, uh, you know, one of the one of his shows in Sarasota, Florida here. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to go check that out. Uh, that's on the third. Okay. So that's uh, that's interesting. You know, the day before. Who uh, is Trump's doing Sarasota. a rally down there? What's that? Trump's doing a rally down there. He's doing a rally, Sarasota. Yeah. I heard that the. Uh, did you go to the conference, Freedom and Conference tour that was there in Tampa or something like that? I didn't. I, I was. I had some other stuff going on. I couldn't couldn't make it. I heard there was like, man, they confiscated a lot of people trying to get in with weapons. Uh, man, these are crazy times to be living in. Man, I don't know. I mean. I've been invited to some of these some of these conferences, Mike. But I'm like, dude, with the climate the way it is, it's like, especially with you and I putting our asses out here on video every fucking day, it's kind of oh, yeah. like, I got you. Should we? I don't know, dude. I mean, you should be careful. You know, I'm just yeah. Saying. I, I, you trust your intuition, man. Yeah, trust your yeah. intuition, absolutely. Uh, and and stuff is happening. Like I was I, I was on a show yesterday and whatever reason we couldn't uh you know put it on my youtube and then that show and that guy's channel got wiped out and, really? if that, and then on my channel it we got wiped out so you know things kind of happen for us you know yeah it's uh it's, it's kind yeah. of interesting i'm like wow miss missed a bullet on that one that was weird yeah no it's like dude they're bombing everybody and especially now with these audits coming out mike this is gonna the, the, get ready for another swoop on everybody like that's why i'm being extra careful right now because i know that they're going to be ready to just start bombing platforms again oh yeah 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 you got to be careful with that word too so it's uh it's yeah. a you know that a word it's not good to I say know. that <laughs> so, i know oh uh, yeah. yeah yeah so uh um but but uh the the future looks i think exceptional you know and it's uh it's Everyone says, even one, you know, we're going to we're going to get some some stuff happen. He was just on my show yes uh, yesterday, and he said some something's going to happen, and it's like so. I I think that maybe that something might have been Florida, you know, that building collapsed yeah. in the way it did. So so when um, did that happen today, or when did that happen? It happened last night. What what kind of building was it? All right, so it's a uh, uh, basically a high end condo. A, a block away from uh, President Trump's daughter, wow. <laughs> condo, 
And uh, this was this was uh, six seven hundred thousand dollar condos. Uh, if you look at it, uh, go look at it. The structure itself looks impeccable. And everyone that's going down there saying it's an anomaly. It's an anomaly. It's not an anomaly. It's like it's a directed energy weapon. They use it on that building. Um, you, I mean, they uh, CNN, who's basically we know they're very much in cahoots with three letter agency. Yeah. Has the video on it. Kind of like what happened in 9-11, those, those right. weird videos. Did it come happen. down the same way or was it just, how did it come down? It, it, came, uh, it came down um, the same way. So it's like dusting. You know how uh, in 9-11 there was like, there was like steel structures. They just went. Shh. Started dusting out. Yeah, yeah. They said it was some kind of chemical. It's the same, it's a sa it's a same dust cloud, everything. So I'm looking at, I'm like, buildings don't fall pancake like that. How More. big was this building? They're, they're, I mean, um, it looked like, you know, 20 stories. Whoa. It was, it was, it was maybe, maybe, maybe more, maybe less, uh, but around that. Um, and uh, I know one death, so you but think they're probably getting rid of, a lot they're more. getting rid of evidence or what do you think they're doing? No, I think they're sending a message. Um, I think they're sending, because uh, like I said, Trump? a lot of people were moving to Florida uh, from uh, some of these states that, People don't like them anymore. So they're losing people like crazy. And uh, so they're trying to put some fear out there. So you want to go to Florida? Look, look what happens in Florida. You know, that kind How of stuff. And also, died in this? What's that? How many deaths are there? Has that even? Uh, it's it's going to rise. Uh, DeSantis was down there and he's he's like, he's uh, it's, you know, but the way that the way those buildings fall, go, go on CNN or go on CNN and, and watch that video. They have a video of it. And it's got, at first I thought it was just the face of a building fell. No, there were buildings, whole buildings that fell, pancaked, and like <laughs> turned to dust. I'm like, oh my God, you know, that's a total, and where did it come from? Did it come from an aircraft? Did it come from a satellite? You know, it has to be a high level uh, government source. Energy beam, it's a high yeah, level, so, a high level. level yeah, yeah, so it's uh, either, you know, the deep state has those weapons, obviously, they've been using them for a while, but uh you know was was china involved yeah yeah because they sent yeah. a lot of uh they sent a lot of those uh papers over that helped with that you know people writing and it goes into the mail that thing yeah. they that came from china a lot of those ballots came from wow. china so yeah, well, uh, they see that they're losing their control they see that the, you know, the, this is let's just be honest. This is the 2021 revolution that's happening. We're witnessing it. We're live in the middle of it right now, and it's happening. And it's like, I know you can't see it. You can't see it. I thank God every day that you and I and people we know that we're able to see what's happening. And we're, yeah, I, love, I, love, I love the way you present yourself something live from the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> well, from, coming at you live from the apocalypse, folks. Apocalypse. Yeah, there you go. So it's, it's, basically, that's where we're at. We're kind of like yeah, right now. I so mean, it's beautiful. It's it's where we're at, man. We're commentating the world stage, and it's just kind of like, I think it's an exciting time to be alive. And also, have you seen Mike the military drills that are happening with Russia outside of Hawaii, and then the UK and uh, uh, mm -hmm. who else is running uh, flight drills uh, with their air force? I mean, dude, this is. Shit's heating up. Why are all the military exercises? They're doing it right next to the Hawaiian Islands. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, we just, uh, uh, we had some uh, uh, jets, uh, Marine Corps jets that flew off a, a brick carrier. It's, so that's the first time that's happened since World War II. And they're going in to hit ISIS targets. So, you know, like that's I said, I heard. That's the, right. the, switch, the switch can, you know, go the other way very quickly because we're seeing... You know, they've been starved for money for a long time. So now they're pouring people across the border like crazy. That's one of their ways they make money, you know, uh, human trafficking. Yeah. Uh, so they're just like dumping. They're trying, and, you know, they didn't have their uh, A stuff, you know, from children yeah, yeah. for yeah. a while. And uh, so they're really. Uh, now they're fully supplied up. again. Yep. Yep. That's a lot of money for them. It's like. So, so that's what, that's why I'm saying. Trump needs to make a move because they're just getting stronger and they're able to plan. They're basically, they're able to recoup. Basically that's how I see it. I know that they're airing out a lot of the deep state creatures and bad actors, mm -hmm. but they're also being able to reconfigure and reconvene and replan restructure. But I mean, isn't that how you see it? I mean, you're a Navy SEAL. I mean, how, yeah, how do you I mean, it's just, that's, that's what it should be obvious to everybody. I mean, 
it's it's not it's not rocket science there it's pretty obvious what what they're doing so they're uh how, how did how did isis come back yeah. they have to have money they were yeah, they were exactly. starved of money trump started right. on the money how did the how did the uh, soviet union fall they were starved of money right so how did we almost very very almost if trump had stayed we would have starved the deep state completely uh, they would have completely disintegrated so yeah we have to get that control back uh they're squeezing a little bit through but is it just a small pipeline for them uh or is it like a major uh you know lifeblood for them again it seems like i think it's uh, a major one because I think i'm here too. on the border yeah and kamala had no interest in coming down here she's just coming down here because trump made a big blast about it he was gonna come down so she wants to beat him to the punch she's coming to el paso bro she's coming here and mm. it's like fuck i can feel the evil coming oh yeah <laughs> it's like it's dude seriously like ugh. and um so i'm gonna tell you right now bro they're building uh different uh facilities all throughout el paso to house these people um <sighs> anybody could pick up a kid now you don't have any background checks uh you could just wow. show up they're not gonna do any background checks you could be a sponsor and go get a kid. This is insanity. Like yeah. I've never seen anything like this and we're in the middle of it now. Yeah. So I know that the, the board, the, the floodgates are open. Everything's happening. I'm mm -hmm. right here live at the border, dude. Like I could throw a rock and go hit a Mexican. Wow. <laughs> and it's, like, it's like, it's crazy. And yeah. it's like, I know what's going on and a lot of people do, but El Paso has always been, it is Mexico, dude. I mean, it's like, you're so close to the border. It's just, it's the same thing. You know, but dude, they're flooding in, bro. They are flooding in. And I wow. have friends that report on the border and they're like, dude, you don't know what we're recording. They, Anthony Aguero on my IG, he puts videos up all the time. They are coming in by the thousands daily. I'm talking like caravans of people just coming in. Oh my no God. stopping them. Hmm. The border patrol is just kind of like, fuck it. Let them go. They're just kind of like waving them through, waving them through. It's embarrassing. They, they have, they, they've been told to, they've been told to yeah. stand down, you know? Uh, they well, this is this is an invasion. Let's yeah. call it what it is. Yeah, and and they put those people on flights and they're flying them in all over. Oh, dude, all over the all over America, everywhere. Dude, right here at the El Paso uh, airport. Anytime I go fly out, there's a line of them. They have their own separate lines. Wow. And TSA, they just go right in. It's, it's dude. I've never seen anything like this. And people mm. who are not on the border don't understand this. They don't see the severity of this, the importance of what is really happening. And that is why I'm like, dude, how much longer, let's just be honest, how much longer can Trump wait? Because we're mm -hmm. losing our country rapidly. May have taken four years to get it like a good structure, get it nice, but Biden's just a wrecky ball. Boom, boom. That's what he's been put in office to do. Oh, yeah. We'll be done in a year. If this goes longer than 2021, I hear people talking about 2024, 2024, voter integrity. I'm like, we're Venezuela, man. Way before that, Way this before doesn't get that. handled. Yeah, I, I think even before before twenty twenty two. Yeah. So we have we have to fix like you keep saying. I, I love it. Your your own point. We have to fix twenty twenty, and that's what that uh, that A thing they did in Arizona, and now twenty three states are looking at doing their own, which I say that every state will have to do uh, a full audit. Ooh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's all right. I know, I know, dude. I know. It's just, it's just look how we have to tiptoe around this bullshit. And it's, and you know, I can cuss, I can say fuck, but I can't say that a word. <laughs> I can't say, you know, it's crazy. Like, what is the? It's a, it's a, it's the Twilight Zone. Total, total. <laughs> it's I, I don't understand. I mean, I do understand it. I know what they're trying to do, but I. So I got some emails, Mike, and mm -hmm. and I wanted to kind of touch touch on a guest that you had on your show, if you don't mind. Sure, sure. Uh, I guess you're on the show. Like, listen, I'm not talking shit. I'm not. I, I'm just saying, how? What's your thoughts on that? I don't think that someone can just come out and talk about that openly without yeah. an NDA. The government, people watching, they're just gonna be allowed to come out. And help me understand what you know. What's your thoughts on this? Because I, I'm not gonna say a name or nothing like that, and I'm not putting this poor person down. I'm just saying I'm, I'm kind of skeptical. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I was, I was skeptical. I saw her on a show, uh, and the, uh, if she's an actress, she's damn good because uh, she was um, uh, recounting uh, an incident that happened to her where her child died in her arms that they were doing a, a rescue, and the things she talked about and how she talked about, I'm like, mm, yeah, you don't, you don't talk about it like that unless you've been around that, 
you know, those operations. Um, cause I have been, I've done a lot of those operations. So, uh, not for child rescue, but for, you know, that type of operation where you go in and kick doors and stuff like that. I'm, you know, done hundreds of those. And, uh, she talked about it. Like she knew exactly what, I mean, no one knows, uh, the level that she, that unless you've been exposed to it. So, um, either she's been around a lot of people like that, or she's just, uh, you know, just totally talking out and, and pulling it off. I don't know. So there's also, um, when she came out and talked on my show, now I didn't, I didn't get a feel that she was like, you know, lying. Now there's other stuff, uh, as far as like, she's a lawyer, uh, people have looked into and, um, I don't know what that's all about, but she didn't seem to be a lawyer anywhere. So, oh. and, uh, if, if, uh, if that's kind of part of her cover, you know, or part of her, um, this is, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like up there. You should listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, from my point of view, I, I give people the voice and, uh, if yeah. it proves to be wrong, you know, it's like, Hey, okay. We, we, we proved that wrong. But, yeah. um, I think, I think it's interesting. She's either very, very, very well protected or she's completely bullshitting. And if she's bullshitting at that level, it would be so obvious to so many of us that we'd be like, no, 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 no. Now, everything you're saying is like, but I'm telling you, you know, some of the stuff she's talking about, either she's got some contacts that are talking about it or telling her or, and maybe that's, that's part of the game too. Cause you know, there's disinformation going on. Oh, there. there's the disinformationalist and, yeah. um, and giving and been given some, uh, some in, in, info. It's either that she's in, she's involved or she's like the most in, and, and she deserves an incredible awesome. liar that's ever <laughs> been, you know, and I, and you just can't pull it off at that level. I yeah. Mean, I mean, I'm, I'm open to it. I'm, I would like to have her on the show, talk to her about it, but I mean, you, you uh, should the have jury, her, the jury's like, out with you're, me. You're, yeah. You're, you're no bullshitter, you know, you should have her yeah. on and, um, yeah. and, uh, and her, her compadre in the UK, you know, so the two of them are kind of an interesting, um, little, little show. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be good for your guests to like, you know, take a look. I'm open you know, to it, man. Let the, let everyone the guests that I have decide. on, everyone that yeah. I have on, people have bad mouth. It doesn't matter. You know, that's what they do, man. That's I mean, I come on your show, people bad. I know people yeah, bad mouth me, you know, oh, yeah. I'm the CIA. I got told. What's a CIA? Oh, the CIA. Yeah. Yeah. I got whatever. told going on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking, dude, it's, nothing's worse than like when I was boxing, dude, like fucking. Put oh, yourself yeah, out there. The people used to be like, ah, fuck you, you're not Mexican. I mean, just like oh, crazy my God. shit. I mean, like, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Right? Oh, it's oh just, you were never Navy SEAL. It's like, yeah, it's like what? Yeah. whatever. <laughs> whatever. It is whatever. But I now, now, I wanted to ask you this, and I've been okay. wanting to ask you this for a while. Do you think they tried to take you out on purpose? Can I answer it like this? I think sure. that. In a spiritual sense, yes. I, I, I mean, in a right. spiritual sense, yes. I mean, who dies twice in one year? I mean, um, mm. and when that happened, and it's not like I almost died. <laughs> you know, it was like deathbed. I was sure. brought back like that, you know? Wow. So wow. When that, when that happens, um, I, I don't know who did this, but very possible it was a hit. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, you're, you're, you're definitely moving up the ladder. Like you're yeah. like unstoppable. And if they couldn't like, you know, cause I know a lot of those guys, I know a lot of the guys, well, almost all of them, unfortunately, almost all professional sports. Uh, and you can verify this or not. It's a, it's totally up to you, but almost all professional sports are compromised. They're basically oh, yeah. Yeah. boxing. Not so much. Really? Boxing, not so much. No, it's compromising. It's, it's different. Like, basically, um, I wasn't outspoken politically at that time. Sure. But, um, but boxing's uh, it's not it's not a like a like a team like the NFL or NBA or mm -hmm. uh, MLB like that. They're under mm -hmm. this umbrella. Boxing is kind of like uh, there's so many different. Still, like there's there's still a lot of promoters in the mix. There's different. Pro there's tons of different promoters. Like we have the main ones like. Golden Boy, this and that is still its own little niche sport. It's kind of strange, mm -hmm. um, but but uh, it's controlled in different ways. 
you know, it does have a dark energy around it. Everyone knows that, but mm. like, it's not like it's not controlled by like globalist control, like NFL or the NBA or the MLB okay. where they're making it's, people get this and right. blah, blah, blah. I mean, right. boxing is not really like that. It's you have commissions, the athletic commission, and they're like the mafia, but boxing still a global sport. You can go to other countries to fight. You can go to other states to fight, and they all have different legislation and mm -hmm. rules. But that's uh, cool. Good. But it's not like NFL or NBA. They're highly yeah. controlled. Yeah. Highly controlled in that aspect. Mm -hmm. But I mean, still, it's it's. But it has its own demons. Boxing has actually uglier demons than any sport. It's fucking bad. Uh, <laughs> in a different sense, I've seen some fucked up shit. You know. Yeah. That sure. I wish I never would have seen. But but um, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. And. Yeah, and so everyone knows when I say life. compromised, I mean they 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 basically they know who's going to win, who's going to lose. You know, uh, I've, I've been all over I the mean, world. Only if it goes, only mm -hmm. if it goes to a decision, because you know a knockout can always happen. Sure, but but like yeah, the promoters control the judges uh, at the very highest level. Uh, the sport has turned into cherry picking, where the top fighters fucking you know pick the fighter they're going to fight, and then you know make him cut weight, make his life a living hell. Uh, cripple him, handicap him in any way they can. Uh, Mayweather was king at that, you know what I mean? And then fucking, yeah. you know, and then he's, you know, it's just, it's a money game, dude. There's the A side and B side. The A side and B side was never a thing, really. It's always been a thing under the, under the, under the carpet. But when Mayweather came out, he made it public. Like on the A side, they're the B side. I control the game type of thing. So, nice. you know, nice. they got the fucking judges in their pockets. So you could fight your heart out. Get all the way to the decision and get it fucking robbed. You get robbed. Oh wow! And people yeah. have seen that how many times? You know that's why boxing yeah. has that stigma on it. So it's sad. Yeah, yeah. But nothing's worse than politics itself. <laughs> oh yeah, there. It's pretty much uh, completely compromised, bro. I mean, the guest I had on today, Jeff, on the on, on the right radio, right, 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 uh, right on radio. You got to yeah. get him on. There. He gave a good perspective that I'm sure we've all thought about, mm -hmm. and he talks about how. It's basically, he talks about Nasara Jasara. Actually, tonight, watch it, Mike. If you want to, if you want him on your show, I'll hook you up with his uh, his info. He's 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 a good dude. He's a good dude, and he brought some things to light that I was like, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, I've thought about it. And I think you've thought about it too. But if you watch the show tonight, you'll see you'll see. And basically, saying, hey man, it's all the same get chess game, and the same guy owns the chess game. You know? Yeah. You got you got the dark and the light, but that but. It's all part of the same game leading to the same result. Wow. Which, which you know, we all have to watch out for, which is, he's talking about Nasara Jasara and how that's going to ultimately lead to the mark of the beast. And it's crazy. I mean, he, he wow. brought some good things to light, which I've thought of before, but huh. it's a good show. I think he'd be a good guest for you. That's good. Yeah. I mean, I, I love all perspectives. You know, yeah. even, even, you know. Even if I don't like, totally agree with you, I don't, I, who who agrees with anyone completely? No yeah. one. So, um, you know, I like I like to see all the different perspectives because it, it brings to light like you're like you're talking about maybe some other uh, options out there we haven't really uh, you know been aware of or seen. Like there's so there's so much. I mean, history, uh, the human body, all kinds of stuff. We've been taught a bunch of bullshit, you know. And uh, I think at some point when the real truth starts to come out. Everybody's going to be blown away, not just by, by the political establishment <clears throat> and, uh, you know, how horrific, you know, some of the stuff they've been doing uh, all the way through Hollywood, like you, you've talked about you know, very, very incredibly. And, uh, you know, sports, unfortunately, you know, it's on and on and on. Uh, but also in the educational system is like yeah. just horrific, like lies and manipulation. I mean, we're saying it now with the, uh, you know, they're trying to do the. Uh, um critical race theory critical race you know stuff and you know parents are pushing back on that did you see i i saw in uh, virginia where uh you know all the parents got together and the uh basically the the school board basically got up and walked away because they didn't I like saw what that. The parents have to say yeah and then they, yeah. they they ended up arresting people there because they told them to leave it's like that's a public it was it was a public event uh that everybody was invited to it it's a public uh, building and uh, they had, you know, it was supposed to be from, I think, four to like nine and at like 530 or so, you know, they're arresting people. It's like, whoa, 
That's they were uh, arresting parents. Yeah, arresting parents. That's insane, dude. Yeah, I talked to the uh, tackling Iowa down on the floor and and uh, wrestling and wrestling and, and cuffing them and taking them away. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I talked to the Iowa Mama Bears. You should have them on your show too. They uh, talk about how they got a law passed in Iowa for this. This this is no longer it's illegal to, to enforce this. Yeah, they passed that law. They got that law passed. The Iowa Mama Bears started with oh, that's two, beautiful. two moms. Yeah, they just had enough. They were fed up, and they started getting out there and 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 beating their feet to the street. And they started their voices being heard in the school mm-hmm. PTA meetings or whatever they're called. And more women joined on, more mothers joined on with them. And now they're catching fire. And other women in other states now are catching fire and creating their own, you know, like Arizona mama bears, Iowa mama bears, Florida mama bears, whatever. They're all catching on and yeah, yeah. banning together. And that's what needs to happen right now. That's There's no way Trump can – this had to happen first, I think. Maybe that's what Trump is waiting for, just enough momentum to get behind I, him. I feel that. I feel that. So that's, that's, that's one see? of the things. I think women are, are really, you know, part of uh, the thing that makes this turn. And so it's good to see women come out like that. Um, yeah, you know, you've seen the stuff with uh, um, uh, the the clothing line, you know, Victoria's Secret. You know, they, they have a new spokesperson for that. I'm like, are oh, you yeah. kidding me? That, that, that uh, Rapa, Rapa, what's her name? Rapaho? Rapino, whatever, you know, the, the you know, soccer star Yeah. Um, that's a uh, lesbian. And I don't care, you know, whatever. I, I don't care but, uh, about that at all. I just think like yeah. Victoria's Secret was beauty. The, the just mm-hmm. gorgeous women. Now people are like, oh, they're all transgender. They've always been transgender. I'm like, well, I didn't know. <laughs> they're beautiful. I thought the the women before were all gorgeous. Yeah, and sure. now they're, you know, they're, I'm not taking anything away from Rappo, but she ain't a Victoria's Secret model in my mind. She's a soccer player. Stay at that. Be good at that. Uh, and, and on top of that, an extreme leftist. An extreme yes, leftist. Yes, yes, exactly. It's there you like, go. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't, it, kill, it kills it. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, I'm uh, fucking... it kills, it kill, I mean, that line was already, you know, pretty much on the downside. Because yeah, they, well, they it, just put the nail in the coffin. Yeah. That's definitely the nail. Like, I guess they're like, you know, if, if we're going down, let's just burn it to the ground. And that's, that's yeah. what they're doing. <laughs> I think you're right. And, you know, and, yeah. and so, but but here's how I see this, too. And this is what I really want to talk to you about and to get your outlook on this, because, you know, you were a former Navy SEAL. You've done a lot of missions. You've done a lot of crazy shit. Mm-hmm. And at what point do you look at collateral damage and say, OK, here's like the scale. So we got Biden here and Trump reemerging here. And Biden is killing the country just going downhill. Brrr. We're going to be Venezuela with this guy. We're going to be socialist and zero time flat. Tax are going to be through the roof, everything. Uh, he's killed the pipeline, everything. Everything he's doing is just going like this. And then the collateral, de- then the civil unrest on this side. If Trump reemerges, the civil unrest and the collateral damage will happen with that. So at what, what point... Do you do you say okay now is the time to go, or like is it still down here where it still outweighs Biden's president? Like they still need more time for him to be in office before they make that move. Like when is the weight right to where they can make? Am I making sense? To yeah, where yeah, they yeah. Can make, To where they can make a move because at this point right now it's kind of like I, I see Biden just just destroying the country so fast that I almost think Trump needs to make a move now. Because mm-hmm. we wait any longer, at what point is it irreversible? Like, and then we have military on the streets, like martial law, because they're all the the, the people that have come in through the borders, the 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 crime in the the black uh, neighborhoods now, the defunding of the police. I mean, to where we just become a shit show, and we're gonna need. We don't want military in the streets at that level either. No. So, wh- what point is it the balance just right? To make that move, I, I'm just see what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it's tough because um, you know you want uh, when when you move like when we would move, we always had surprise on our side and violence of action. So we would come in. It would it would just I was like my God, <laughs> we were badass, you know, and uh, <laughs> and everyone's focused and it just like it was like boom, it was over. It was I mean very rare that uh, seals get killed in combat because it's so well planned out and, and we're, we can move on a dime. We can change. You know, I, I've been, I've been in combat missions where, you know, we brief for like hours and we come in and we're supposed to do a certain thing. And then we take shots and we like land somewhere right. else. And it's like, it's totally, totally changed, but everybody 
goes in, we get the job done, no one gets hurt, and we do amazing things. But how do they do this, Mike? I mean, Mike, so how would they do this? They're like, when they say the military will intervene, what is that? What am I, what are we looking at here? Like, they go in and arrest everybody and come in quick? Or like, Trump, they say we're giving it back to Trump, and then they take some time, and people go through military tribunals. Is it like a boom, 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 quick? Or is it like, he re- I mean, how? what are we looking at here, dude? Like, how does this even happen? I know it's never before happened. Well, it's already happening. I, I can okay. tell you, it's already it's already happening. I mean, we've we've been t- everyone saying, yeah, there's already military tribunals and uh, people have been already arrested. Guantanamo's got like you know nonstop flights going down there. Uh, there's other islands that people are going to, uh, other places, other bases. Um, so it is happening. Uh, I've I've done a lot of this stuff. I've been involved in a lot of this stuff, and it happens and. Oftentimes, no one even knows anything about it, All right? When I was when I was in Iraq uh, in the early days, uh, the Delta and SEAL Team Six guys were like banging doors. And this is this is things I've done I've done in combat operations uh, in the SEAL teams as well. SEAL Team Six, you bang the doors late at night when no one knows, and you grab people, and it's over. So remember where we had all those cards? It's like all the 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 deck of cards and. Right. And that deck of cards just seemed to like, it's gone. It's it over. It's like, well, when did they do that? Well, they did it yeah. the at night. And I, I know that because I, I talked to those guys almost every night when they were doing them. So that's what's going on right now. That's what's going on with the Rothschild family. Uh, the you know, So the big players are being taken down. And behind the, the scenes. Behind, behind the, the scenes. They're being taken down. You, so you like the infrastructure. It. Right. Now, so if we came out and, and like arrested Biden and, and group, and, you know, wherever they're at, you know, and, right. and made a big scene of it, had the cameras there. Uh, I guess they would have to be not the mainstream media cameras, but cameras there, you know, videoing it. I don't know where it would go, but, you know, so it goes out and everybody's like, oh, they took him down. So then all the little minions go, whip. No, <laughs> so right now, all the minions are like, I guess it's safe. I guess we're still on because the, the top guys are still there. And then it's like, whoop, that guy's gone. Whoop, that girl's uh, gone. Whoop. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's going so on. Basically, Biden and Kamala in there for show. Totally. Like keeping them in it's there. It's not even them. It's not even them. A lot of those people are, are, are gone, being gone for a long time. Well, it does not look like Biden. Anybody who looks uh, at Biden now, it's like, dude, you could look right. at him in five years ago. And yeah, people age, but they keep their bone structure. Right. Oh, this yeah. yeah. This mm-hmm. bone structure is different. His totally. ears are no lobes. His face looks, it's just different. There you go. There you go. Yeah. The same thing with Fauci. I just saw one on Fauci where his ear, ear lobes are, com- you, you can look at a picture of my ear when I was a little boy and it's still the same. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't change. That cartilage does not change. It might, it might grow a little bit here and there. My nose. But might this is all just like age. a chapter out of fucking bizarro book. Like this is exactly. crazy. But he is radically different. He's got like a long nose. Longer nose. Ear. His uh, cartilage in his ears completely different. Um, hairlines different. Just everything. It's like so you're stuff. saying that Fauci could be a long time ago too. Yeah, Fauci's gone. Yeah, and they just put in doubles. And and I even brought up the point yesterday where some of these doubles might be put in by the black hats to cover for them so that they can go hide wherever they're hiding. Because I know these people. I know these people are hiding. They're, we're not getting all of them. And we're not going to get all of them when we like go big with it, you know. Right. And uh, there, there's some of those guys are hiding, and we're going to grab some of these, you know, people that are out in the front, and we're like, "You're not, you're not, Fauci. Who are you?" Well, I think, but okay, so I understand that, and it makes complete sense. But how would you get the media, bro? The media is the big one. That's the yeah. one that's. So how does that go down? Like, how does it announce? Oh, by the way, Trump's being reinstated. How would that even go about? Like, how would you even? Because they're going to spin it like, oh, we got Trump is being a they're, dictator, they're not, no, tyrannical. No, they, it's that's where, if we're talking about a violence of action, surprise operation, that's the mainstream media. Yeah. Now, I believe that some of those people are good. You got Tucker Carlson. You got some of the Fox yeah. hosts. I think too. they're in on it, bro. I think they're. I think they're. I think they're things. disclosing. They're slowly yeah, disclosing. I think there's some people, even in CNN, that are starting to disclose a little bit here and there. They're on board with. They're still, you know, making everybody, you know, still, they have to keep the leftist agenda going because that's 
the the five people that still watch CNN, you know, you still have to like, you know, post, you know, keep that going. Uh, but there are, uh, I think, uh, you know, some good, good things are being leaked out already. Cause I see it. I was like, Oh, wow. You just said a whole bunch of bullshit, but you did say that. And yeah. that's right. Yeah. So that's, uh, it, it is happening. I, I see it too, man. And I, and I said that about a few months ago. I said, you know what, watch nice. the red, yeah. watch the, the alternative host start coming out. Mm -hmm. Red pilling, red pilling, red pilling, little by little. Yes. Because it's yes. the hypnosis that the red, the whole mat, the masses are under right now that don't watch our shows or which is millions and millions of Americans that have no fucking idea Absolutely. what really is going on. They just kind of feel something going on. So they depend on the mainstream media for news. Right. They don't look into programs like ours. I mean, yeah. you know, or they look into, they used to look at, you know, sports figures. A lot of those people are gone yeah. or Hollywood yeah. stars. A lot of those people are gone. Well, so, I mean, that mainstream media push was also from a lot of those actors and actresses and, you know, media types uh, that are, you know, people used to look up to. They've not been around at no. all. No, 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 no. And, and, so that's the like, take down what we've been talking about. The MSM you know, is degenerate. Been degenerate is what happened to her. What happened to Hanks? What happened? Yeah. What's up with Oprah? Oprah's not being seen for anything. For a long time. Where's too. James Comey, dude? Where's Adam Schiff? I mean, they, yeah, people may say there's a segment on the news from here and there, but they're not out publicly anymore, right. man. They're just right. not out anymore. Yeah. CGI or, you know, somebody like, you know, post somebody post for them on their, you know, social media or whatever. Uh, or, or the MSM, you know, says that so-and-so said this. It's like, he didn't say that. He's right. not even here. So whoever right. said that, that's just part of the agenda that you guys yeah. are pushing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you see like, uh, like from what I see happening right now, like to be quite honest with you, dude, I, my, the biggest question mark I have is like, okay, all this is going to start coming out. Flynn says it's explosive after the 26th. How the fuck are they going to do this with the media? That's what I'm wondering. I'm like, how the fuck? So all this comes out and then well, how does the media come out and say, okay, folks, <laughs> Looks like Trump's reinstated. I mean, how do they go about? That's the part where I'm like, I guess that's the delicate process. There's a lot of people that have been taken taken down that were really good media people. They're in the wings. They probably already been briefed. They're ready to step in. I think that's going to happen, and I think they're going to give some of these people an ultimatum. It's like you you can present this as it is, which is the truth, or you can go to jail forever. Because <laughs> so that like, would be treason oh, as well. Okay. That's treason. What, what do you want me to read? I, I've been doing this for a long time. I can read really good. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I just read. I can I'm spin just, it any way you want. Because <laughs> I mean, it's it's ultimately treason, correct? I mean, oh, totally, totally. Yeah. During uh, you know, the Nuremberg trials, there were uh, media types that uh, uh, were convicted of treason, were assassinated, and were assassinated. Were uh, uh, killed. I, yeah. I mean, and then you look at the 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 uh, firing squad that Trump enact enacted sure, before sure. he left. Yep. Dude, I mean, when he did that, I'm like, oh, that they're getting ready. Yeah. And then when so he left, they're already I'm, using it. Oh, Mike? What, what happened with that? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, all that goes. Are they going to like do away with that now? But they haven't done away with it. It's still no one's shut it down because they can't. <laughs> what do you think about it. that? Do you think do you think they've already used it? Probably. Oh, uh, oh yeah. No question in my mind. There's a lot of people who have been saying it that they've been using it. So um, uh, from, from fairly reliable sources, and uh, that's, that's kind of like, I kind of get that feel that they're, uh, they're, they're taking some people down. Now, some of them, maybe not, maybe some of them, they say, oh, that, that person's, uh, been, has, you know, um, uh, killed because they were like, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't, I don't know about that one, but there, but I say there's a lot of them that have been, and there's a lot more to come, unfortunately. Not, not unfortunately, because these people are like pure evil. Imagine the people yeah. that uh, did that strike on that building in Florida. Absolute I got to watch. I got to go look at that right absolute now. Absolute, complete out. evil, right? The 9-11. I mean, absolute, complete evil. You know, all the thousands of people that died on that day, um, all the people that have been in, imprisoned, you know, from uh, January 6th. Uh, I, even, I even saw that they're trying to brainwash them they're having to like watch movies and having to read books and do reports on them uh that basically is uh leftist agenda stuff 
That's I'm like, insanity. wow. I know, I know one of the guys that got arrested, mm -hmm. uh, Biggs, Joe Biggs, he was, uh, he's sitting in jail now. I mean, I haven't talked to him in a couple of years, but pff, dude, Still. I'm so glad I didn't go to Washington. I almost went. I almost went and thank God I never went. I, that's why I just stay chill right now, bro. I, my instincts tell me, God, I'm they relax, bro. Mm -hmm. Like this is not, I'm already doing what I'm doing here on the videos. Like you're doing, I just don't think putting myself in situations or amongst people when you're a target. And guess what, Mike? Now we're targets. If we go places, people know us. We got to have security. We got, I mean, totally, totally. I'll fucking let these flies any time of the day, believe me. But I don't want to fucking, people know us, bro, now with this movement. Yeah. yeah. Some of those guys are doing these shows have serious security. I mean, guns yeah. drawn out in the open, surrounding uh, the group. So it's like, it's real. It's real out there. No, no, this is serious. Oh, so, yeah. We're, we're basically like Juan talks about, we're, we're in the digital warfare. So this is, this is the most important thing right now. Of course, there's people doing uh, the real stuff. They're doing a great job with that. Uh, you know, we're going to find out about all the work they did. And we're going to be like, wow, you guys did yeah, all that. That's yeah. incredible. Real, that's going to be, that's going to be cool, right? It's yeah, gonna be like, dude, whoa, dude. you guys get when celebrated all that forever, out. you know, for the rest of your lives. You like super Can you strong. imagine the soldiers that go down into the tunnels, man, and do that shit, bro? Mm. Fuck. Fuck. I heard they see some really wicked evil shit. Yeah, I heard they're uh they're uh they're, a lot of those guys are traumatized. I mean, we can't I mean I, I get a little pieces of it and it's like it's beyond belief. Uh I'm not gonna go into mm -hmm. it, but um No, I've 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 heard this in like entities, shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that's well, not only that this, the stuff that they're doing to uh the people that are down there yeah uh you know there's a lot of uh you know changing people uh yeah. from one experiments yeah experimenting and uh you know meat hooks and all kind of crazy stuff so yeah it's, it's just pretty so pretty bad up. yeah it's like hell that that is hell down there like there's totally, no joke. Totally hell. it is hell down there and uh and those guys have a have a a, a green light which i used to have uh, on occasion we used to like do training missions where it's like no one survives and you're like oh god so you don't have to be like super because <laughs> you have to be like super careful you gotta like watch it you know of course somebody pops up there they're not supposed to be there you're like you're, you're yeah, like, yeah, way but uh all everybody that we we say okay this guy this guy this guy we have like five or six targets and we go in it's like and we, you know, we have role players that have, you know, the mask on or they have their dress a certain way. And uh, they, we either grab them or shoot them. If we have to grab them, it's like our lives are in danger. <laughs> but if we just come in and shoot, because we're like all expert, like beyond belief shoot, shot shooters, it, it just come in and just blow it. It's like just boom, 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 and it's done. Right, but if we come in, we, we, uh, we have to like, you know, surgically come in and like, you know, search everybody and take uh take prisoners that's when you're has a gun they they don't you don't shoot them ah that's when you're in at risk huh totally at risk yeah yeah so um the guys that are doing the dumb stuff now if they come in on a situation that's like we're talking about horrific they all die they're all dying now because they used to take prisoners yeah and those guys those guys got hammered one time somebody so you're kind of hearing off. the same stuff i am about like what's really down there is horrifying right. totally horrifying i mean i you know i i had the ability to remote view i i've been down there and i'm like that's enough because it, it'll yeah. it'll screw me up <laughs> you know yeah i bet it's, it's it's intense and uh and i i know those guys are having to go through having to be decompressed on that stuff how do you even come back from that dude i mean ah. you're never the same i mean just war regular war mm. is horrifying and then now add totally. that shit where you're like going into the depths of hell. Mm -hmm. I don't know, dude. I, I I commend those guys, but they're never going to be the same. The rest of the, I don't believe they'll ever be the same. It's, it's a, there's no, is there a rehabilitation for that? Therapy for that? I don't fucking think so. You just have to be super hardcore, you know? And it's not, not that you're like, um, you know, I've been a lot, I've been exposed to a lot of, a lot of crap and I'm still good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, you've been exposed to some crazy stuff, and you're still good. So you can be. I mean, am I? <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I mean, I'm getting by. Yeah. Fuck. 
I'm having a good time. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Coming at you live from the buckers, bro. <laughs> Dog, people are like, that motherfucker's off. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, Mike. Fucking love talking to you, bro. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, yeah, let's let's touch base again in about a week or something. Do another show, man. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, this sure. stuff is so heavy, man. I'm scared to put this up on YouTube. What do you think? Yeah, we say the A word too much. I, we did. Fuck. Yeah. We'll do a G rated version next week or something, man. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Fluff, I call it fluff tube. <laughs> yeah, this, this, will go that, this will go on my Rumble and my Telegram. It'll be it'll be good in there. So yeah. it, it'll it'll get eaten up. People will love it. So that'd be um, awesome. Yeah, I, put I it over there. You have, you recorded those, it, right? Yeah, I have to throw okay, something cool. in there for the for everybody. Uh, cool. YouTube is great because it gets, as you know, it gets incredible exposure. Yeah, it circulates but a lot. But then guess it. what? One word, it. the AI word. checks you out, and boom, they get you, and you're gone. Yeah, like I said, that that I don't know, I don't even know what we said uh, when I had a uh, Jean Claude yesterday. I did a show with him. I thought it was clean. I was like, that's a good show, and they took his whole channel down. Yeah. They took his whole site down. It's gone, wow. wiped off. That's what I mean, no warning, nothing. Just bang, you're gone. Boom. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, sad. All right, Mike. Well, I'll all see right, you later. Always a pleasure talking with you and lots of love out there to, lots of love to you, you and all your uh, all your peeps. You guys are doing amazing Here's stuff. Too, man. Keep it up. Let's keep it up. I'll talk to you next week. Sounds good. All right, brother. All right. Out.